Writing a retired military signature depends on a few conventions and personal preferences, but generally, it follows a structured format. First, let's break down the elements typically included. 1. Name 2. Rank at retirement. 3. Branch of service retired. 4. Suffix indicating retirement status, ret. Here's an example format. Name, rank, branch of service, ret. Let's say your name is John Doe. You are a retired captain from the U.S. Army. Your signature would look something like this. John Doe, CPT, U.S. Army, RET. Some might include their degree or other accolades as well, but keep in mind to stay concise and relevant. Why use this structure? 1. Clarity. It leaves no ambiguity about your status and honors your service while making it clear you're no longer active duty. 2. Recognition. It still provides the recognition of your achievements and rank. 3. Formality. Military institutions are big on formalities and structure, which this format adheres to. Steps to create your signature. 1. Determine your rank abbreviation. Keep it standardized. The Army and Army National Guard use CPT for Captain, MAJ for Major, etc. Other branches have their conventions. 2. Include your full name. Avoid nicknames or shortened versions of your name for formality. 3. Specify your service branch. This could be U.S. Army, U.S. Navy, etc. 4. Indicate retired status. Use ret barals to signify you're retired. So, putting it together, John Doe, CPT, U.S. Army, retaro. For those in Portland, Oregon, or any other place, this format doesn't change. Living in Portland, I might occasionally add a personal touch like my contact email or position, if relevant in a professional setting. But the key elements remain the same. Remember, keep it respectful and straightforward, just like your service. Happy retirement. If you have any more questions or need help, let me know.